that in mixed martial arts action, it's XFC 15, tribute from the St. Pete Times Forum. Hello everybody, I'm Michael Chavello, fantastic to be here with you, Cape Side, for another night of XFC. This is tribute, and what a stack card we have, a double main event, Felice Herrig and Carla Esparza and Jonathan Stavais and Eric Reynolds. I'm joined as always by my verbal sparring partner, Frank Trick. Trick, what a night we're in for. First of all, the man recently crowned the world Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion in Long Beach, California. Jonathan Stavais takes on a man, Eric Reynolds, who when he began his career was something of a sensation here in the Tampa area, winning all his first nine fights by knockout, but inconsistent of late, going four and four. Well, what's happened is everyone's learned with Reynolds, if you're able to get him down to the ground, that you're able to beat him. And that's kind of what Novice is going to try to do tonight, being a black belt world champion. He's probably going to try to put him on the ground. So that's the big game. This is what's going to happen is that Novice is going to try and get him on the ground. Reynolds needs to keep him on his feet. He's got a guy that's got amazing style, one punch, knockout power. He trains with most of the pros here in town for professional boxing. This is a guy that knows how to put you on the canvas. If you stop moving when you're in front of him, you're going to go to sleep. That's how he works. He knows how to beat up on you. He knows how to keep the pressure on you once you go out and pound you, and he can get the victory very, very easily. And Jonathan's device, what a sensation in the BJJ world. He is Frank. You leave this guy an arm, you leave him a knee, you leave him a wrist, you leave him something else, he'll start ripping off body parts like you missed a potato head. What, what makes device very, very different than most Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys is he's very, very good from the bottom. He's also very, very good from the top, but his guard game is amazing. It's very hard to pass his guard. If you kick it by his guard, you can't finish him, but then he knows how to sweep you and get back on top. He's very dangerous in any part of his body besides the bottom of his feet or on the canvas. And our co-main event here tonight, folks, I am so excited about this one. Check it out. Carla Esparza, who has such a decorated wrestling career, takes on Felice Little Bulldog, Herrigay Muay Thai kickboxer, former kickboxing champion. Frank, this one is a hard one to call. Well, you look at it, and on paper, what it looks like is it's a traditional wrestler versus a traditional Muay Thai practitioner. It's not what it really is. We're talking about a girl that knows how to punch now, and Esparza, and a girl knows how to do takedown defense and has a great submission game with Herrick. This is not gonna be a traditional game you see on paper where all oh, the wrestlers gonna beat up the Mutai guy. Let's, let's, let's remember, Herrick has never been taken down any one of her fights, and she's taken down every single one of her opponents. Esparza says her wrestling has been is years and years and light years ahead of hers, so it's gonna be an interesting matchup, and it's all gonna come down to who has the major control. And I think Herrick might be able to pull us out just by keeping little little pit of pads, little jabs, and all of a sudden explode into Esparza and put her down on the ground. There, there's something little I'm gonna pull out, Frank. No, don't worry, it's not that. You know, there's something that Felice Herrick likes to do as a hobby. She makes her own sock monkeys. It keeps her relaxed between fights, and I've managed to get her favorite sock monkey, Sockham, here tonight. Say hello to Sockham, Frank. Yeah, this is start the whole Twitter battle between Felice and I because I thought these things were made up, and I was just get away from me. What, 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 what I'm show you what I do with socks. Tell this me. is the easiest thing I do with socks. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Let's go through the rest of the card. Tonight we got Brandon Salis and Amani Lee, and it's going to be a great. I jumped ahead of that piece because we're talking about 600 pounds of actual behemoth weight inside the cage. We start the night though with Marlon Morris, and wow, this is going to be a great barn burn and a great way to start off the fight here on h and Fights. Chris Gillespie and Ryan Thomas. Now, it doesn't look very much on paper, but let's understand that Ryan Thomas is looking to finish the fight as quickly as possible, and John is the typical brawler that loves to put guys out as fast as he can with ground and pound. This one's going to go deep into the waters. And then, of course, as I <coughs> take the cotton out of your mouth, Frank, your socks, you need some talcum powder, brother. Uh, Corey Hill takes on Charlie Raider in the welterweight division, and Dennis Hernandez takes on the one-armed fighter, Nick Newell. This kid is something special. Keep a close eye on that one. Frank takes us through the rules for XSC 15. Here in Florida, we use the unified MMA rules. Elbows for down opponent are completely legal. Scoring, 10 night must point system, and all fights are three five-minute rounds. We are ready to kick off a big night of action here at the St. Pete Times Forward and great crowd on hand. Let's throw it up to Christopher James to get XFC 15 underway. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the show, man. Tampa, can you make some noise for the USA? We're live on HTNet! And welcome to the XFC! Let's get this party started. Our first fight of the evening. Here we go. Joining us right now in the blue corner, he's a Muay Thai practitioner and Jiu Jitsu fighter. He stands in at 5 feet 6 inches tall. He weighed 
145.6 pounds. He brings to the cage a professional record of five wins, three defeats, and one draw. Tonight, he represents the Armory, and he fights out of Jupiter, Florida. Please make some noise and welcome, Marlo Morales! And his opponent standing across the cage in the red corner. He's a practitioner of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Thai boxing. He stands in at 5 feet 7 inches tall. He weighed in at 144.6 pounds. He brings a professional record of 7 wins, 3 defeats, and 2 draws. Tonight, he represents American Top Team, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Please welcome Chris Manuel! And when the action starts in the middle of the cage, our referee, John Hosgood. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. All right, gentlemen, you received your instructions in the back. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to defend yourselves at all times. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Do I have anything from you? Any questions from you? All right, hook them up. Let's get started. Final instructions from referee John Hosegood. We are set for the first fight of XXC 15 tribute from the St. Pete Times Forum in Tampa, Florida.